I hear many people say that golf isn't a sport. Golf is not challenging. It's just a game that you play on the weekends on Saturday afternoons with your buddies to relax and catch up and enjoy the nice weather. I have news for those people. Golf is extremely challenging. It's physically tiring when you're carrying this huge bag on your back, 18 holes in the hot Texas summer heat, and it's mentally draining because you're always trying to stay positive and gain confidence that you can finish off the 18 holes well. The amount of hours and days per week that you have to spend in the driving range to become consistent, to learn the correct way to swing your club. Do you turn your wrist this way? Do you turn your shoulders first? Or do you turn your hips first? Do you come down with your shoulders first? Or do you come down with your hips first? Do you come down fast? Or do you come down slow? Do you pull it this way? Do you pitch it that way? There are so many different components to golf that it is so frustrating because you can try to control your swing on the driving range and you can try to become consistent. But when you're used standing on that golf course, it's a completely different ball game. It was my very first golf tournament where I learned a lot about myself and a lot about golf. I'm standing on this tee. The only people that are there are my five teammates. At 6 a.m., the sun is rising behind me. I can hear birds chirping in the back. My feet are crackling because they're crunching in the grass below me. And I look to the left of me and I see the red flag. So the only thing between me and the red flag are 275 yards. No problem, I thought. I can easily swing my drive and it'll go straight down the fairway and I'll pitch it onto the green. <laughs> You wish, right? Because when you're looking down in this white ball on that golf course, it's like you've never seen a golf ball before. It's intimidating. It scares you. You have no idea where this white ball is going to go if it's even going to listen to your golf swing. So I hit the ball, and of course, it doesn't go straight down the fairway. I hear a big bang, and it went straight into the tree on the left-hand side. Laurel Charney thinks she's Tiger Woods, and she tries to hit this ball over this huge tree. I don't know what I was thinking, and then it goes into the other tree on the right-hand side. I give up, I thought, but no. I made a wise decision, and I used a pitching wedge to pitch it back onto the fairway and onto the green. But then it took me three putts to get this ball into the hole. This ball had a mind of its own on that day. And I quickly learned on that first golf tournament that life is very much like golf. You're going to have days that are going to be good and that are going to be bad. The 18 holes of golf are all going to be different. You're going to have different outcomes. You're going to have to play them differently. You're going to have to view each hole as a challenge. And in life, you're going to have to view every hard situation that comes your way as an obstacle that you will overcome and you will learn from it. And when the unexpected things happen, there's a purpose for them. You're going to have to choose the right path when you veer off the wrong path. And you must never give up. You have to have confidence within yourself. You have to have the right mindset all the time. And you're just going to have to carry on and finish every chapter of your life off well so that you feel accomplished and that you're happy with the decisions that you've made. And in golf, when you finish those 18 holes and you put that last putt in and that 18th hole has been so beautiful, you've played a perfectly you're addicted and you want to come back for more so that's why in life when things go bad the brighter side will always be right around the corner